to the lighthouse and I'm um, chilling kind of just about ready to get all geared up and we're gonna hit the surf we're probably gonna hit the south side and walk a little bit see if we can find some fish and uh, both on the north and the south side it's like really really rough today because uh, you know it's really really stormy it seems like it's blowing like 20 25 miles an hour out of the north northeast and uh, then also we're having some of the effects of Hurricane Jose so you know two of these storms are either coming together or maybe just this whole stormy weather we're having is because of Hurricane Jose I'm not entirely sure but uh, yeah we're gonna give it a shot and uh, actually you know I stopped off at 7-eleven and uh, picked up some new trailer baits so we're gonna give it a shot and put it on the back of our bucktail and uh, see if we can uh, you know catch some fur I still gotta send the Triumph in the mail with like a $55 check and hope that uh, St. Croix replaces that so today we're gonna you know take out the airwave and put the tsunami shield to the test. All right, we're almost as far as I want to be, but uh, it's kind of tough passing up all this good water because uh, it all looks like really, really good. So we're gonna rig up just so I can like fish and walk until we get to the spot that I think there's gonna be some fish. And then if there isn't fish, uh, you know, in the area where I'm going, then we can always fish this area on the way back. But uh, here we go, so we're gonna rig up one of these gummy worms like that on the bucktail. Looks pretty good. The key, the key thing that needs to happen today is that these gummies have to hold up and they can't fall off the hook. They gotta be tough. I'll have this one for me. Then I'll put a few in my little to-go bottle here with my pork rinds. And I still got quite a few more, so hopefully we can find some stripers and catch some stripers. All right, let's give it a shot here first, just to test out the little gummy worm. Hopefully it doesn't fly off the hook on my first cast. Yeah, first cast and it didn't fly off. That's good, that's good. You see the water's a little dirty because we're having a little bit of rain and runoff. But uh, maybe because of that bright colored gummy, these fish will be able to find this. All right, so the gummy finally fell off after about 20 minutes of casting and probably like 50 casts. This was kind of just like a test spot. All right, let's give the uh, watermelon color gummy a try here. I'm hooking these gummies right through the head on the very end and that'll give it the most you know tail action oh. Woo! massive wave just came out of nowhere Jesus Still got my gummy on though. The shield took a nice dunk. Woo! That's surf casting right there. No bites yet, so I'm gonna make one more move down a little bit further and that's the furthest I'm gonna go. Then I'm gonna start working my way back. Hopefully that'll be enough. All right, last spot right here. Fish on. Fish on the gummy. On the gummy worm.
not a total rat sized fish. A little bit bigger fish. Woo! Striper on the bu uh, gummy bucktail. Woohoo! Look at this. Woo! I had to travel far and I had to put a lot of you know work in, but we got one on the gummy. After that little bit of sugar rush, this fish should be good to go. There she goes. I had a feeling about this spot right here. I had a feeling. We're gonna try the orange and yellow gummy worm, see if it makes a difference on color. All right, I need a new gummy. The other one fell off. Down to my last two gummies. All right, well, I lost my second last gummy. No! Just dropped my last gummy. That was my last gummy worm I had. Alright, so I'm out of gummy worms, sadly. And uh, I didn't get anything on the pork rind and bucktail, so I'm gonna start working my way back. And uh, believe it or not, I know I dropped a gummy worm on the ground somewhere by this big boulder where I sat down for a little bit. So there might still be hope to catch one more fish on one more gummy worm. Here we go. I found one last gummy worm. I sat down there before to uh, change out the GoPro battery and it fell off my jig and I was like, yeah, forget about it, I'll just leave it there. So now I got one more chance for hope to catch one more fish on a gummy worm. Found a little guy here using the pork rind. The classic always catches a fish, you know that. Not a big one, but a nice little guy. Try moving out a little bit further to this big rock there. Here we go. In the hot spot. Whoa, just saw a bass jump out of the water. Just saw, an, I saw two splashes from a bass right here to the right of me. So I think it's that time to switch back over to that last gummy that I have. This gummy's falling apart. Not really looking too good. I just gotta get it on there and get it out there. And hopefully hook up. Gotta do like a nice little lobbing cast just to get it out into the strike zone without it falling off. There he is, fish on! On the gummy. Oh geez, it's a big fish. Big fish. He's ripping drag. Oh, stay on there, baby. Stay on there. Woo! Nice fish on the gummy. Oh, stay on there. Come on, baby.
feels big, but it's hard to say with all these waves. Nice one. Nice bass. Hanging on by a thread. I'm jumping in. Nice fish on the gummy trailer right there. back at the car I'm freaking starving it's empty no oh what time is it it is 5 50 p.m. and uh, I, I started fishing today or I got to the lighthouse at around 8 a.m. and I just got back to the car now so I pretty much fished all day long and uh, I caught two stripers on that gummy worm bucktail trailer and it was so totally worth it. <laughs> it was uh, an awesome outing. You know, I didn't catch a lot of fish. It was tough. You know, the bite was tough, but I was kind of messing around. You know, I was messing around with those gummy worm trailers. And uh, if I really, you know, just stuck with the, you know, classic bucktail and pork rind, I probably would have caught a lot more fish. And uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna get out of here and uh, try and get some food because I'm freaking starving. But uh, I do recommend if you guys are ever trying to catch fish and you're out here in Montauk and can't find fish at the lighthouse or on the north side, just take a walk down the south side and, uh, you know, probably forget the bucktail and gummy combo. Just, you know, stick to your to the basics and uh, you'll probably catch fish. You know, you can be down there all day, pack some food, you know, don't eat all the food in the car and don't bring any. You know, <laughs> I'm starving right now. I'm gonna go get like a hero or something. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And never forget, live to fish, fish to live, and I'll see you guys in the next one. All right, so this is how you gotta do it after a long day of fishing. Chicken parm pizza and spaghetti meatball.